success with subscriptions comes at the expense of everybody else because there's a share of wallet problem. What's right. your take on paying subscriptions? Look, I think the brands that have gotten out with subscriptions that are tremendously useful, like you look at the Times, they have a great subscription product because they have made, the Times has, was indispensable before the internet, right? Mm -hmm. Was indispensable. So now they've merged that and you, you'll pay for the Times. You'll pay for the Washington Post because of the work it's doing on the White House and in the US at least, that's become the story, right? I pay for the journal because I invest. Uh, but what else am I going to pay for? Right. Am I going to pay for ESPN Plus? I'm still deciding. Am I going to pay for Bloomberg.com? And every time, I, I've been sort of yeah. mentally ticking it. Yeah. You know, at some point, you know, I, I, I'm going to run out of fingers. Right. And then you look at your, end, your credit right. card statatement at the end of the month yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. and you're like, holy cow, I've got 15 subscriptions. Yeah. And just, Most of us are like, I just can't, con I only have 24 hours in a day. I can't consume all that content. Right. As quality as it may be, right. as useful as it might be mm. in isolation, mm. the more successful the poster and the journal are, right. the less successful you know, ESPN Plus might well, be. Well, you know, I think part of it is some, something we haven't discussed too with subscriptions. It, I think we're in the age of, uh, I'm loosely calling it identity media. Like, give me something with which I identify. And it goes back to that relationship, right? Speak to me in the way I expect you to speak to me. Um, give me what you promised when the first day we met, and things will be fine. But I think subscriptions have a high bar, and I think you have to deliver a ton of value. Yeah. And that value, again, comes in any, almost anywhere, but it's a, it has to be a lot of value for me to stick through it, or some kind of recurring charge that I don't even notice on my statement, but is that enough to sustain a real media business, right? right?